Holy cow, guys, it has been over 10 years, nearly 600 episodes of Scam School. That is a lot to go through. So to make things easy to get caught up to speed, I'm hand selecting a whole bunch of my favorite tricks from various genres. Today, it's gonna be a gauntlet of matchstick puzzles. Grab some matchsticks, get ready to play this like a video game. You have nine challenges. How many of them can you get? This first one's kind of cute. It's kind of cartoony. See, that's the dog. There's his tail right okay. there, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the dog. He's running down the street. Do, 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 do. All of a sudden, he got run over. Oh. Moving two matches, show the doggy how he looked after he got run over. X's for eyes. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's creative that good? thinking. That's pretty good. But I want you to think all cartoon right, right. logic. And when cartoon. you figure the answer, it'll be obvious. This is an itty bitty fishy. Okay. We're gonna move three matches and make the fish swim the opposite direction. Ooh, this is a toughie. It's a little bit tougher. It's almost, but he's still now it's he's pretty close. Here. I don't know. I really don't know. This is a bad game for tipsy people. Bad. Uh, are you calling it? I give up. You ready? Fish is going this way. Yeah. One. Oh. Two, three. That was a good one. That is a good one. This time, we're gonna do a little giraffe. He's looking over that way. Moving one match, we want the exact same shape. We want the exact same giraffe, but in a totally different orientation. I can do this. Now the nice thing is, you're only moving one match. There's only so many matches to move. No. <laughs> yeah, but it. now you're thinking around corners. And there it is! She gets the fat tire. I'm a genius. This is for you. Thank you. All right, that's three down and six to go. But I have to warn you, those first three were far and away the easiest challenges you're going to have. It only gets harder from here. I swear, don't you just let it go by. You press pause and you try to solve it until you either got it or give up. Do you have what it takes? All right, you got six matches. You need to make four equilateral triangles. It's all three sides the same. And all four of them have to be exactly the same size. And the edge of each of the equilateral triangles has to be one full matchstick long. And it's technically possible. It's absolutely possible. That is also two. Can we use anything else? Or uh, just to be matchsticks? I can do it with just matchsticks. There's a trick here, I know this. <laughs> Got it. hey -oh! Nicely done! He thought in three dimensions. You guys are some smart bastards. What you're doing is you're creating a tetrahedron for equilateral triangles. All of them the same, each one with an edge of a matchstick long. Very, very well done. Right now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six equilateral triangles. Move three matches and end up with seven equilateral triangles. And you want seven? You want seven. Did That's that happening work? Now. Those were such a well, if, if they were, if they're not, yeah. So we can't pretend that they're not. Exactly no, like, oh, this no. was a bad idea. <laughs> can I show you what I thought the answer was? You do, look at that, we got a whole bunch more triangles. Yeah. And he pointed out, this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight not triangles, seven. not seven. Nice! I was going somewhere with that. You though. were, you were. The reason this puzzle works and the reason it fooled me is because truly all of the triangles are totally random. And they, the reason it was frustrating is because you put stuff there and they didn't quite line up, except that two of them were very intentionally placed so that they had parallel edges. You That's right with that one. I knew that one, there was something going there. <laughs> you got one. That's so annoying. Two, oh, it's so annoying. Three. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Isn't that great though? By the way, that moment that the dude figured out the tetrahedron 3D triangle thing, that was the very first time I had ever been busted on scam school and it led to an important lesson. It's okay to fail as long as you have an even better, harder challenge to follow it up exactly like this one, home stretch. You got this, you got this, you got this? I know you got this. I'm gonna set up an eighth grade math equation. It's gonna be wrong when I set it up, but your job is to make it right. There's a bunch of different ways to read this. You could read this as one plus 11 
plus 111 equals 1,111. That's wrong, right? Or hash marks on a, on a wall, one plus two plus three equals four. You can interpret the numbers any way you want, but I'll tell you this much, this part of the equation is correct. This is the part of the equation that needs to be fixed. And you can fix the equation by moving only one toothpick. The first time I saw this, I thought I was being clever by saying not equal to, but that's not the solution that we're looking for. Oh, okay. So we've got two plus two minus three, I mean, or 11 plus 11 minus 111, I don't know. When you said it was gonna be eighth grade, I was expecting something a little less complicated than that. Then one plus two plus three? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly the response I wanted to see. I'm gonna have you solve the same riddle twice. The first time, I'll bet you'll have no trouble. The second time, I don't think you have a prayer. We got numbers here. This is definitely a three. You got a six here, you got a nine, right? And your challenge is add three matches and make this true. We always have to say this because there's always some 12 year old who thinks he's super clever saying, oh, how about now? Does not equal <laughs> or yeah, greater than or equal to or whatever. It actually will be equals when this is over with. My first idea mm -hmm. is that nine is not the answer that maybe it could be Could be an eight. eight. Oh, that's good. My second idea, the you can change right? that into an eight. You can change that into a five or nine. Oh, okay, all right. 35. 26. 26. Minus. 35 minus 26 equals nine. Right. Very well done. Congratulations. Yay. All right. Now here's the tough part. Instead of three matches, you get four <laughs> matches. You do have to use all four <laughs> matches. Okay, and... I think I, I. Wait, you think you have this? <laughs> yes. No. Well, what's the question? Uh, what, you... and nothing same rules. changes. Same rules. Same rules. Four. Nothing changes. Holy crap, she got it. Three, three plus, plus six equals <laughs> nine. No. Oh, no, that was oh amazing. God, it... This time, totally different setup. I swear, this better defeat you, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> not happy. You get something a little bit, there we go. I'm gonna give you two match heads and one match using just those, make this true. These are obviously decimal points. So uh, this could be a 9.5 because otherwise it, you're not doing anything meaningful. Something makes an eight, maybe. Can we move any of these? No. Can't, move it. Can't no. touch it. Also. Ooh. 990, could, something 90, with a or, 10, nine, 99 or 99 with a, put a decimal in. It's not like the letter I. Is it a, is it a time? <laughs> Hold on. What if you did like 95.0? Okay, what if you did it's that? Nine point, it's 9.5. 101 minus 10. 101 minus 10. It's something like that. Are you guys calling it? I'm calling it. Are you calling it? Calling it? it? This was unbelievably satisfying for me. Patty had the answer. What? She really? said something. He's looking at the oyo. Is it, a, is it a time? <laughs> Hold on. It's, oh no. Because the answer is that 10 to 10 is 950. Is that what you were thinking? I was not thinking oh, anything. Thank you for the credit, <laughs> but I was not thinking that. That is nine challenges. Truth time. How many of them were you able to solve? And more importantly, how many of them would you have paid the price of a beer to get the answer to? I want you to hit me up in the comments. I really do read all of that stuff. And of course, we should be best friends over at twitter.com slash wood. Look, I want to do more of these best of retrospectives. In this case, we're talking about matchstick puzzles. What are some other themes you guys want to see? And of course, all of this is covered in the two Scam School books, chock full of 200 of the best tricks we've ever done on the show. And if you want to see our latest adventure, make sure to check us out over at The Modern Rogue. Jason Murphy and I are on a quest to become the ultimate gentleman, warrior, and scoundrel. Doesn't always go well. Sometimes it looks like this. I guess there's that. Stop it. Stop, stop. All right, truth time. All right, guys. All right, guys, truth time. All right, guys, that is all nine of them. Truth time. All right, guys.